This is Coach Mack, Titans game day radio color analyst. Today we're going to look at three run plays that show excellent blocking using 13 personnel, 12 personnel, and, did a, and had a, did a nice job against the number one run defense in the National Football League. We've got first and 10, balls on the minus one yard line, 430 in the first quarter. We're in 13 personnel here, which is three tight ends, one wide receiver, one running back. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have deployed an eight-man front, which really ends up being a nine-man front because the corner is coming up on the nub side tight end very, very tightly. What we're going to see is an inside zone run. Derrick Henry does a tremendous job with his inside zone run. It's up to him to be able to read the gaps along the line of scrimmage and see where there might be an opening. The Buccaneers have all the gaps covered across the front, and what we're going to see is Henry does a tremendous job, eyes on the gaps, nice skip step. Michael Pruitt does a tremendous job with a cutoff block on Goldston, forklift, little crease. Henry sees the crease, gets through it immediately, and then he's off to the races. Makes the safety miss in the open field with his patented stiff arm. Now he's off to the races. Now we're looking at first and 10, balls on the minus eight yard line. Tampa Bay has gone into their eight man front again against this 13th personnel look. Now what we see is we're gonna see an inside zone run, but now Tampa Bay has gapped up everything inside. Derrick Henry does a great job with his eyes, sees the gaps, one little stutter step, takes to the outside, gets a really nice open field block by Anthony Ferkser here, frees him up, and now he's off to the races again. Right now you see a second illustration of a really good combination block here between the rookie Nate Davis and between Jack Conklin on the three technique. The three tight ends are, are deployed to this side in the 13 personnel. And you can see John U. Smith makes a tremendous hook block on the force, allowing Anthony Ferkser to go out and pick up the cornerback to give Derrick Henry a chance to get around him with his speed. Now we're going to look at first and 10. The ball is on the 42-yard line. What Arthur Smith has done now, he's now gone to 12 personnel. He's got two tight ends, two wide receivers. He has a bunch formation, which has caused Tampa Bay now to go from an eight-man front to a seven-man front. Instead of attacking with an inside zone run, he's going to attack with what we call a toss UT. The U is the second tight end that's pulling. The T is the onside tackle pulling. The ball now comes off the line of scrimmage. This is allowing Henry now to use his outstanding perimeter speed. Look at the seal blocks all across the, the perimeter for this perimeter toss to work. You must have a seal on the outside. Watch how Jack Conklin, John U. Smith, and Corey Davis do an excellent job of sealing the edge giving Derrick Henry a tremendous chance with this toss to get to the perimeter. With the deployment of different personnel groups, you can see now how the Titans have attacked both the inside and the outside elements of the number one run defense in the National Football League for substantial yardage gains. 